<sighs> Bugsy, I need to talk to you. What's up, Yonky? What's up, Yonky? Dude, what's up? I need to talk to you about Zig. Dude, she misses you. Like, in a romantic way? I mean... No, man, she misses you and her just pounding around. And... I mean... I'm a boyfriend, sure, but you and her have a history I can never really compete with. Oh, dude, come on. You guys probably have some awesome memories. Although, let's be honest, I... To Zig, we both lost our collective virginities in the back of my car, but that, that's neither here nor there. Wait a minute, you used to drive? Yeah. Yeah, because I just, yeah, you know, that was before I really started really liking just flying around with my wings. Wings, not a plane, my wings. Anyways. I'm just, I'm, I had to clarify for everybody. You're recording this? Yeah, well, it's nightlife, and I just feel like it needs to be said. But, uh, bro, buddy, let me dim down the lights, and we'll talk. I just feel... Don't tell me you feel inadequate. Y'all, you're the toughest motherfucker I know. Yeah, but I'm not you. I'm not funny. You know, I can't just be wacky and goofy and turn that off and on like you can. Come on, Zig's attracted to you because you're tough. Zig was attracted to you because you were the you were the dude that could be funny and serious. Hey, she ain't attracted to me anymore. I mean, we broke that off years ago. As much as I wanted to try to get that back way before, way before I started dating again. You know, the reason, the reason we split was because Zig thought that because she was infertile, she can, she can be, she can really give me what I wanted. And I said, it didn't matter, but... Zig always thought that I hated her for it, but I never did. I would have been perfectly fine with us not having a kid. I'd have been bet I'd have been fine. Cause as long as, as long as I had because at that time, as long as I had her, I would I was fine, you know? And she just wanted to focus on her career, but I know she just didn't. Well, she talked to me that one that time before uh, I started dating again, and she popped back up. She didn't even look me in the eye when she told me this. You know, but you, you, you the, like you guys, you guys work because, dude. Y'all can adopt, man. Y'all you know, can adopt and you keep forgetting to be like you. Yeah, but this is not about her wanting to, you know, get back with you. It's more of a. Because you guys were close. Y'all were friends before you became lovers. Actually, we were. We were competitive rivals, and we were friends, but mostly the rival part with the cat, with the hate making out. Yes, but yeah, that underlined how we actually felt. See, the reason we don't see each other is because we both of us fear that those feelings could come back. I mean, I don't want to make you feel bad, but sometimes. I know she feels this too. Sometimes I think what it'd been like if if we actually did have a kid. I mean, how different would my life be? I mean, technically, that was 
technically before I because any well let's be real let's be real well <laughs> well this my mind thing and we have build it well this my mind thing for a bit for a bit like Annie gave me the second well the third well the second chance I needed. Well the third chance I needed to actually be alone and be happy. Zig and I as much as one of us cared for the other. She me and her kid like I wouldn't want to put it to, I wouldn't like, we give you friends, but, you know, it's harder for us. Because we have that history, and it's hard to look over it. I'm not going to give you the details, though. You probably already know, because she probably told you everything. Uh, don't remind me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all, but you know, but bro, you know, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to rub salt in the wound. Bro, why'd you really come to me? Like, I know it's not just because you want Zig to be, you know, you want me and Zig to have a day together and become buddy-buddy again. I just feel I won't stack up to you. Because, because, yeah, it may be tough, but you're... You're better than me. No, I'm not. Dude, with all the power I accrued, it's not even it's not even a question for me anymore to just live a normal life. I'm a king now. I'm still doing stuff. I'm still obligated and pulled by my own responsibilities of being king. And I like it, but it is kind of a burden. Well not a burden. But it is kind of a thing that weighs you down. Trust me. You are better than me because, you know, your dad didn't shackle you. Your dad didn't expect you to be king and then had this big plan for you that he never told you and then you found it in a book and you felt honor bound because your dad thought so highly of you even when you... Even when you fled for Earth and you wanted to live your own life. And I. And, you know. With you and with me finally learning English, I have so much to lose. And I was. I had a brain face for. I had a brave face for my future self because he was crying, but I'm scared too. Dude, I'm not this perfect being with perfect powers and I can do anything and fix anything and conquer anything. Because at the end, at the end of the day, with all the powers I have, I am relatively semi-immortal. I could still be killed. I could still be hurt. I could still lose my life. And I can reincarnate, sure. But that takes a hundred years. And now, y'all. I mean, only you, me, and the rest of our family have that lifespan. Like, you kind of have half. Like, you can actually choose to be regular. That's the one thing. We can actually take our immortality away. But... I kind of need one for a bit, but now it's not the, now it's not the time to quibble. Look, Yonk, you had the better you had the better life, okay? But I know Zig wants wants to see me. I want to see her. I want to be I want to be her friend again and. Do all the shit we used to do. But it just that that old feeling, that twinge I still feel whenever I look at her. 
He still exists. He's still present. Hey, fuck, when they, but if you tell me anything that goes on with her, I'm just like, I'm ready to fucking fly to her and help her and, yeah, I feel like you, I feel like, I feel like the boss when I'm doing that. I feel like, I feel like you guys when I'm doing that. You call you guys your boss? That's a long story, pal. I don't really want to explain it, but, yeah. I, I, I actually trained under him for a bit, and we became the Demon Busters, but that's a different story. But, pal, oh, just listen to me for a minute. Now, listen, I love Annie with all my heart. And I'm, that's never going to change for me. Me and Zig, it's, it's always going to be kind of weird, kind of awkward, kind of, kind of everything. You know, but I'm glad she's with you. You gave her the life I could never give her now. She's happier. I'm glad. You don't know how... You don't know how fucking happy I am that you two are together. Really? Yeah, man. Because before the before our university before your universe, my universe merged, you were my con you were my confidant. My my fourth in command. If anything ever happened to me, Har and Ansakamaru and maybe even Zan, but I really call him fifth in command and if he and if he, and if he wants to fight me after this, we can go right ahead. But dude Remember all the times I came to you? Do you even remember those memories? Yeah, I do. Pal. I remember. I remember being at you guys' wedding. I was like, I don't th I don't think. I don't think any other person could do better for that woman over there than that man right there. And I said, I love these two. I love both of these two to death. If anything ever happened to them, I don't know what I'd do. Because Yonk, you're still my, you're still my best friend. And if I ever made you feel like I was gonna steal Zig away from you, and that's why you never showed. You never showed. I'm sorry. Pow. I never felt like that. Ever. Don't you don't you ever don't think I'm one of those freaking weak idiots that think you think think that you would ever betray me. You're not that kind of person. You know? Me and you We protect the people we care about. We both get worried. And yes, I do feel a little inadequate towards you, but you're right. I'm fucking, I'm fucking Yonky B, the ghost of us, the ghost of Osaka. You know, sure, you might be this all-powerful motherfucker, but you, but me and you are two different, separate entities. <laughs> That's a reference for anybody who really, really pays attention to any of the lore. And <laughs> do you really have to reference it? Yeah, the, the audience doesn't know this shit. They just know I'm tuning in for the first time. So hey, <sighs> always breaking the fourth wall, <laughs> and you always kind of getting annoyed that I do so. God, I miss this. <sighs> well, pal. I mean, you don't have to see Zig if you don't want to. I'm not gonna force you, but I'm just saying it mean it mean the world to her if she got to see you. 
don't have to be anything, you know, you're not going to do anything romantic or anything. Because I know you're scared of that, but it's not going to happen. I mean, I do get mad when you two kind of sort of fake flirt with each other. Freaking. I, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> this is kind of how we. It's kind of how we tell each other jokes. And then it gets kind of serious, and then we both back away. <laughs> it gets kind of awkward. I'm, I'm sorry about that, pal. But, literally. Bugifer Prescott Kuro. You are awesome. You don't need the Chaos Force or my kind of power to, to tell you that. You have her. I have Annie. Atsukamaru has Stocking, and Harima has Eri. We all have people we care about, that we love dearly. Don't you ever think I'm the better one. Because in the end, it depends on how you look at things. And personally, we both have our own, we both have our own responsibilities and obligations. Me, a little bit more than most. You, a bit less, but not le not even more important. I will talk to Zig. I was not go see Zig, but that please. I, if we start singing, don't get jealous, okay, man? It's just kind of how we do. She may be a, Zig may be a porn. Zig Zag may be a porn star, but she's still the same old dork I remember. She may hide it. She may hide it, but you've probably seen it a few times. Well, she's not a complete... Okay, she kind of is. <laughs> well, maybe she's not like Sabrina, but she's close. She's close. <laughs> Don't let me t I can tell you all the time she, she and me have watched Star Trek together. You know, uh, it's kind of funny. I gave Zig her first actual kiss while watching Star Trek. Really? Mm hmm. What do you mean her first actual? Oh. She never talks about her dad. Well, really, there's nothing to tell. He was a very... He was a despicable human being. That I personally dealt with. There ain't nothing more to tell. He was a very, very, very... Pervert... Perverted and horrible man. I took him out. I took him out like slightly with Flash. <laughs> you still take pride in that? Oh hell yeah! But if we're being honest, I did put I did put jumper cable jumper cables on his dick while uh, while the train was slowly inching towards him. <laughs> What was it like? No, it was it was pure painful. I wasn't trying to make it pleasurable. That's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to make I was trying to make him. I was trying to torture him. Like you did the Zig or, or siblings. She never talks about them either. Well, they're pretty much doing their own things, and he, you know, she just. But she probably just wants them to live their own lives with honor. I say, I always say that's bull because they are your family and you do care. But she thinks it's better if they're away from her because you know she does porn and you know that probably bring up some bad memories for them. So yeah, something like that. But hey, since you're here, um, are you still gonna help me with Lord English? 
Yeah, man. Do you even have to ask? I've been itching for a fight. You know, we've been we've been in a time of peace for too long, and I'm so bored. I mean, I mean, I'm not completely bored, but you know, the the ghost has to punch, you know. The mammy bags don't do it for me, man. How'd you go fight Zan for me for a few, for like an hour? Ah, fighting Zan is too easy. <laughs> You know he's like me in power now. Yeah, but if I wanted Zan to follow me, you know, follow me because I beat him, I'd beat you. <laughs> oh, come on, don't sell my don't sell my twin short. He can actually he holds his own pretty well. He said he, he, like the most serious thing he's ever said to me. He was like, Bugsy. I know we fight, but I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you, bro. I owe you that much. You know, it's weird that you guys sound alike. Yeah, yeah but his voice is a little bit more, uh, throaty. Throaty? Yeah, throaty. But, uh, kind of like yours. But, um, yeah, I think that's, that's it, and if there's anything else you want to do, hey, you want to play a few rounds of Tekken? I got, I got the one up on cave machine in my man cave. <laughs> you got a man cave? Okay, Zig actually signed off on you having a man cave. She didn't let me have one. <laughs> and that was when we were together. Yeah, you're lucky. <laughs> well, it's not really a man cave. It's just a game room, but, you know. We call it that. You got the video shit like I do? Mm-hmm. Oh, then, motherfucker, let's go. Well, don't you still got nightlife? Yeah, we're still running videos. We do it at night. We don't really got a particular schedule yet, but we're going to we're gonna nail one down next year. It's going to be pretty cool. Oh, cool. You know, you should really, you know... You know, some of your quality of your videos have been kind of declining without me being your, you know, being your tech dude. Well, you know, if you would have just talked to me about all your, you know, your issues, uh, we could have worked this out. Because, man, I missed you. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. Well, don't be, well, don't be fucking hard-headed and angsting it up when you got, when we can talk, man. Don't do that to me. You're one of my friends, and I hate, you know, I hate when, I hate when people don't really tell me what's going on. You know, I'm not saying I'm owed an explanation, I'm not saying I owe an ex I'm owed an explanation all the time, but, you know. Man, yeah, Bugsy, I feel like this, can you help me out? Well, Bugsy, this is going on. Can we talk? Because like you, because like I say to everybody, my door is open. Being a king that basically never goes to war with anything, time is all I have, both literally and figuratively. Wink, 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 I still got gods here. Do you still have to say that too? Well, I would, Prince of Hearts. But, you know, they already know my thing. Still can't believe my aspect is hearts, not blood. Well, I don't know, man. I guess, I guess Spurv thinks you're a lot loving than you claim to be. So, and I've seen that on occasion. Like when you saved that, when you saved that little puppy. It was a British bulldog. You know, I still have him. You still have Chauncey? Yeah, I still have Chauncey. Uh, <laughs> oh, I remember when you, I remember you for I remember when we were all living together and you just you were ha you were like you begged me to keep him. <laughs> I was like 
Yeah, I remember. I was like, Bugsy, please, please, can I give him? Look at him. Look at him. You can't say no to that face. That beautiful, that cute little face. That's why I like this. I like British Bulldogs. And Charles is getting a little old, but he's still, he's still a good boy. But, um, yeah. Yeah, let's go, man. Uh, let's uh, keep this moment of happiness to ourselves. I still got an image to keep. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. People know you're freak. People know you're just... People know that you got us offside. <laughs> yeah, but still, not everybody does. So, you know, your audience knows that. Don't let any of them, don't let any of the people who know me know this. God damn, I got an image to keep, dude. Says the man, says the dude who is, who is married and leaves around Zig. He's like a, you're like a big old, you're like a big old ball, you're like a big old ball of fluff. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, dude. All right, let's go, man. Everybody who's watching this, I bid thee peace. And that concludes nightlife for the night. We I'll see you later. And I gotta go catch up with my I gotta go catch up with my best buddy in the I gotta catch up with one of my best buddies in the whole wide world. Do 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 you mean that? Yeah, I mean that. I mean, are you serious? Dude. Dude, out of Everybody, you're one of you're one of the best buddies I have in the whole wide world. I have more than one best buddy, but you and me, we have fun. I miss that. So you get the rampage one up our game machine too? Oh yeah. Wait, wait, which one? They got another one? Uh, I think they got world tour, but I'm not really entirely sure. I think I'm getting like that's getting shipped to tomorrow. Hmm. Well, I'll pop by your house. I'll pop by your house and enjoy the see Zig too, so. I mean, just don't sneakily come into my man cave and be like, I didn't see Zig because you got at least, you, you got at least talk. I know she said, she gave me the whole spiel about it being awkward for you too, but we all do miss each other and stuff, so how about it? But, you know, like, just, you know, just be you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Alright, let's get out of here, man. I had said that two times, but seriously, let's go. Peace, everybody who watched this. See you, see you tomorrow night.